My hand is the size of a regular pretzel. And in this video, I'm gonna be making a ginormous pretzel. It might even be the world's largest pretzel the world has ever seen. Let's get started. All right, I started off looking for a super large bowl, then added two and one half cups of flour to it. And then just like always, I spilled it. But then I got a paper towel, cleaned it up, kind of moved on with life, added the two and one fourth teaspoons of yeast, two teaspoons of sugar, and then a little bit of salt. Then I went to go pick out my favorite whisking tool and started mixing everything super dramatically. After that, due to the fact that I'm super cool, um, yeah, and also because I have a stand mixer, I got the bowl, put it on the stand mixer, put in the hooks, added the milk, dropped it of course, and then went to go take a nap. After my five minute nap, I went to go see that my dough was completely smooth, but also nearly falling out of the entire bowl. I kind of panicked, went to go save it, which is why you should never leave the stand mixer unsupervised. Then I started kneading the dough super dramatically. I got another large bowl, added some olive oil, put my baby dough inside, and then went to go take an hour long nap. After a really effective nap, I went to go figure out that my dough, just like my dreams, grew so much. And what I called before a baby dough was now officially a developed adult. I kind of got mad that my baby dough grew, so I kind of punched it down. Then I went to go need it a second time, even more dramatic. All right, so normally what we would do is get a 16 inch long piece of dough and make it into the shape of a pretzel. But because we're making a giant one, we're gonna use this entire dough to just make one piece. I hope everything goes well. But as you might've guessed it, something always has to go wrong. I started stretching the dough to a long piece and then this happened. But just like always, we faced the problem, moved on with life and continued to make the shape of the pretzel. And after legitimately 30 minutes of making the shape of the pretzel, we successfully made it into a perfect shape. Then I kind of felt bad for punching it earlier. So I let my baby dough grow one more time. And after one hour, my baby dough once again was a developed adult. Then to make it look better, I gave it a little bit of egg wash, some brown sugar, and then it was time to bake. All right, so according to this recipe, a regular size pretzel should take about 15 minutes. But let's be real, this isn't gonna take 15 minutes. I'm just gonna put it in the oven and wait till it gets golden brown. Hopefully it's not too long. And that is it guys, after 30 minutes of baking, I made a ginormous pretzel. To be fair, I could have made this bigger, but my oven was too small. But even then, this thing is humongous. Literally 20 pretzels could fit in this ginormous pretzel. If you're wondering what I'm gonna do with this, I'm not gonna eat it all, obviously. I don't wanna get diarrhea. So I'm gonna donate it to the church, 100% of it. Hopefully people could enjoy it over there. Anyways guys, subscribe down below. Don't forget, because the next video is going to be even more insane.